Hey guys, Electron Man, how you doing today? Well, I got a fun one today. Um, I picked me up a uh, bench power supply. I've been doing so much work over here by my ham equipment, I decided I could use another uh, bench power supply over here. Something high quality, good grade, and uh, the little one I have just doesn't quite cover it. But uh, this is kind of a unique one. Um, we'll do a box opening here in a second, but this is a this is a high power bench supply. It's the highest power I've ever box seen. Open and see what we got here. But I'm pretty excited about a, a high power bench power supply. Typically, five amps, ten amps is what I usually you know see. great for me considering I do a lot of uh, repairs that uh, I've been doing some export radios and stuff, and they draw a lot of power. So it doesn't hurt to have a little extra umph in your power supply so let's go ahead and get this thing open and check it out okay guys here she is kind of a just a plain brown box no fancy graphics or nothing look like i need that i don't i just need to hold it safe and sound and be well packed so nothing's damaged i'm gonna cut open here which this uh model here is an r-sps 3020 if you were curious I'll put it down in the comments as well as a link to where you can purchase it. Yeah, you know, like how it's laid out to it's laid flat, more like a mirror or something. Go ahead and get her open here. Let's see what all's included with it. Nice. Nice cooling fan. Got some big terminals in the back. It's so like if you wanted to power your ham radio or something. Gives you some nice terminals in the back here. As well as you have your bench type connections up front here. It's called Nice Power too, by the way, if I didn't tell you the brand, which is, I like the name, Nice Power. So there's that part. Go ahead and set her down there. Here we've got a nice set of beefy uh, cables here. That's awesome. Yeah, these are probably, what are these? These are at least 10 gauge, I'd say for sure. Not eight, probably ten, between ten and eight. Definitely uh, designed to carry some high current. Got your standard power cord and cool. They did include these. I'm so glad. I use them on my other bench supply all the time. These are so handy to have. These are the front mounters, and uh, they feel like they're pretty good heavy wire. Pulled thirty a long time on them, but they're nice and flexible. And uh, got banana clips on one end and the other end here. So awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to set this camera up a little bit different now that we got our unboxed. Include those as well in the specs down in my uh, in my area below my video, so that you can find those as well. But we'll kind of cover some. Of anyway, let me. Uh, I don't know how I need to set this camera. I think I'm a little high here. Let me go ahead and stop and get repositioned here, and we'll kind of go through a review of this baby. All right, guys, we got her all. Uh, plugged in we're going to kind of run through it and give her the paces and let me do a review on this baby um first off this is a 600 watt power supply which is so super cool um like uh i mean this is you could run this as your amateur radio supply and your bench supply i guess the only catch 22 of that would be is you'd have to be careful you wouldn't want to feed 30 volts into your uh into your ham equipment but it has a heavy connection on the back for uh for your 20 amp stuff there, as well as it has your standard uh, probes on the front, front which are, are rated for five amps. So, you know, this is typically would be your bench type stuff, and then on the back here, you have for your high current draw items. Um, I'm just kind of learning as we go here. I just got her unboxed, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's fully, uh, fully adjustable on the front and back, which uh, looks like the accuracy is very good. In fact, we'll go ahead and get the meter out here and show you. Um, I've got her set at 1.4 uh, volts. Let's go up to, uh, let's just start with, oh, let's just say 6 volts here. Which I love the four digit displays. They're nice and bright. I like the red. Uh, basically we'll set her about 6 volts here, 6.06 .06 volts. And uh, go ahead and hook these probes up to my meter here. Let's get a reading off. For this meter here, I trust it's a pretty accurate meter. So let's see here. We're... 6 6.6, 6.6, 7.55, 7.55, with the, the wire there. It doesn't surprise me, but that's very, very accurate. We're spot on there. Bump her up, which this guy will go all the way up to 
bring her all the way up. It'll go up to 31 volts, which actually is rated at 30 volts, but it actually goes up to 31.10, and then uh, a meter here showing 31.13, which, you know, with the wires, that's well within accuracy. We're within 0 0.002 in accuracy as far as between my meter and that, which I trust both of them. That's very accurate. Definitely happy with that. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah. say you wanted to push your radio a little, you know, hot. You want to run her at like 14 and a half volts. That's where this would come in really handy, which obviously, you know, they're usually most radios are rated from 12 to about 15, 16 volts. So you could run her at 15 and it's definitely going to make a little bit of a difference on the on the top end of things. But uh, basically 14, 498. Let's see what we got on the hot side on the back of it. Basically 15 volts. Well, that wasn't very smart. I'm glad I hooked them the right way. Duh. Did you guys see what I did there? If you didn't, I'm not going to tell you. Yep, 15 volts, 14, 9, 9, 9, 7. Yep, so basically we're feeding her 15 volts. So this is, this is like, to me, it's a, it's a dual supply or a really if you have projects that you really need high current especially you know maybe you got something that needs around 24 volts at at 15 17 amps this is going to be your guy right here i mean it's 600 watt power supply and it's fully precision down to the four digits okay here. guys i know this probably looks kind of hanky because i kind of just threw it together to kind of i wanted to give it a good running through and see what we got going on here and uh, see if this is going to do what I want it to do, I mean, on the bench. And uh, so just kind of, <laughs> let me explain what I got going on here. Basically, I got the, the 88, 88, 880 fi uh, powered for the front through the 5 amp max, which obviously the, the stock 880 is not going to clear anywhere near 5 amps. Then I got my Hurricane 300 up top. And uh, that way, and I've got it fed through the back terminals, which is the 20 amp high current ones. So if it have got everything wired right, this should uh, should give me a good indication. What I really want to look for here, one thing is I want to see if I see any voltage drop when I pull the current. So uh, stable as a rock. In fact, if anything, it went up a couple of volts, which is awesome. It's about 125 watts right there. I don't even know if I got my antenna tuned right either, so hey, that's my SWR. Eh, it's not bad. And yeah, that's 60, uh, 70 watts dead key right there. And uh, as you can see, my little bench power supply is handling. This is what I wanted to be able to do, work on these guys and these guys. So having that high output on the back end, at 20 amps on the back end, obviously that's about all you want to push. Uh, that's about as big as you could go on this bench power. I mean, you have to get a lot bigger if you get into bigger hands. But I typically do one pill and two pills, so it'll it'll take care of what I need to. But uh, as you can see, we're rocking along just fine there. We're actually pulling about 11 amps, which is uh, about okay, right. guys. Again, I'm back. Uh, I wanted to just hook up another one. I got a modulator, a little Texas Star modulator hooked up now. And uh, what is he doing? Uh, 14, 15 amps at uh, 15 volts and look at that not dropping a smith nothing no voltage drop whatsoever that is awesome anyway guys coffee this kind of gets you an idea I went to this trouble to kind of show you why I really like the idea of having this bench is obviously for your more uh, detailed and uh, precision electronics you have your nice little front set but then on the back you have the nice heavy 20 amp feed too so uh, as you can see I'm feeding the radio the CB radio on the front and a little heater on the back of it and uh, she's performing perfectly and uh, the, the the noise level on this is awesome this is filtered clean there's no ripple in here um, there you go guys this is one nice bench I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all this get it uh, set back up and we'll take one final view at it I just kind of wanted to set up an example kind of get an idea of what this could be used for it's a I mean it's a precision power supply you know uh, if you buy a good Astron or something like that 20 amp um, I, I would say this is gonna run you about the same money it's, it's you know like I think uh, they got a good deal going on right now it's like 160 170 um, definitely a bargain as far as the precision you're getting res and stuff that you know that that 10 amp level that most bench power supplies are 
inch service power supply as ours about 10 amps so it's really cool that they're starting to design this line with the with a 20 amp like this this guy's going to get a lot of use on them i guarantee you that anyway let me go ahead and stop this and uh get one final view all right guys when got cleaned up all that stuff hope you guys appreciate me getting all that stuff out just to show you give you a good example uh uh you know as i showed you and you know it does all the way to 31 volts actually 32 8 and 3 volts it'll go all the way up to it's, it's rated from 0 to 30 volts and uh of course usually i'm going to be using around the 12 to 15 volt one i mean this would be great for uh charging them uh them 20 volt and them uh them 30 volt uh lipo packs like i've shown in a couple of my videos you know how to save them this is definitely up there with it it's nice that it goes all the way up to 30 volts uh, another nice thing about it is is with a with a a bench grade power supply like this it has short protection I and mean, look I can just short it it's not gonna hurt it I can hold it it's just gonna drop off it, it knows uh, it's got reverse protection and wiring it up backwards it's got thermal protection for heat um, I mean this guy is protected a hundred different ways which is safe for your equipment you're working on and safe for the power supply itself I can't say more nice about things about it. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's an investment, but uh, it's a good. And, uh, I like the, the dual option, and I like the high output uh, 20 amp probes on the back that you can use. A um, lot of lot of uh, options for that. It just it just adds one more to the to the lab style bench supply. I mean, for me especially in the in the, in the mode that I'm working, it's perfect. It gives me everything well, I this need. Video guys, um, I'm gonna try and edit up, make it nice and pretty. Um, I kind of was all over the board. Uh, I wanted to kind of cover everything I could think about in it, and and uh, I don't do scripts. I mean, I'm you know I'm just an old YouTuber that uh, I, I I've got a what a seven year old hero camera and uh, that I still use. That's the only real camera I've got. Um, I don't read scripts. I don't do any of the rest of that. Anyway, I don't want to get in that rant. I just I don't have editors, so you know I, I do the best I can with these videos. Hopefully you enjoy them. If you do, subscribe, hit a bell. Hey, one thing about them, they're real. There's no, uh, it's not no Hollywood jizzing going in the back. It's a, uh, this is the real deal. It's a, uh, what you see is what you're getting. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a great day out there. This is Electron Man.